Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris with CNM Aquatics, and on this channel, we talk about pretty much anything marine reef aquarium related. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about RBTA or rose bubble tip anemones. Most of the videos we've done up to this point have been on corals. These are not corals, they are anemones. So it's a little different in that aspect, but these rose bubble tip anemones are pretty popular within the hobby and there's several reasons for that one they are not too difficult to care for and they add you know a, a gentle movement to your aquarium like you can see the tentacles in this guy here they're pretty decently colored especially under blue or at Kinnick lighting and these guys here are under blue LED lighting and it really brings out different colors in the anemone. You can see purples on the, on the tips and there's yellows and greens. And these bubble tip anemones come in pretty much the most popular colors, like a pinkish color, like you see here. And this is just showing me feeding them. They are fairly aggressive eaters and they like to be fed. I am feeding some frozen brine shrimp here and you can see them kind of latch onto it and they'll pull it in and eat it and I, I do recommend feeding these guys you know two maybe three times a week depending on the anemone in your system one thing to watch for is fish like these clownfish here they like to try to steal the food from them so you just kind of keep an eye on that but what's cool with the clownfish is they will actually host there's some luck involved there but they will host with these anemones, which is kind of cool to, to see in your system. So, one thing to worry about, you do got to worry about them stinging corals. You can see this guy came down on the sand bed and got this chalice. So I moved him, and you got to keep an eye on that. But this anemone here, we are actually going to split. We're going to cut him and propagate him into two anemones, and I'm going to show you how to do that. The hardest part is getting them off of their rocks and this guy was already on the sand bed so that's why I'm going to go ahead and do this but you got to be very very careful not to tear their feet trying to get them off the rock I'll use like a credit card or a guitar pick and get under their foot so a couple things you need to do this is you'll need a cutting board you will need a clean razor blade a pair of gloves for handling the anemone some safety glasses if you want some eye protection they're your eyes so your choice and it's a good idea to have an iodine based reef dip and then some type of container to hold the anemone in so we got them in our our little pail or our bucket here and it's a pretty straightforward process what you're going to do is place the anemone on the uh, cutting board or a hard surface and you want to kind of smooth his tentacles out to both sides and locate his mouth so you can see his mouth right here in the center of this shot so you're moving the tentacles and smoothing them out because you don't want to slice through one of the tentacles and it is very important to make sure you slice through the center of the mouth on the anemones that way both pieces have a mouth they'll, they'll reform around that mouth and if you cut one a piece without the mouth on it, it's probably not going to make it. So it's very important. And what you want to try to do is slice with your razor blade. If you can, preferably one slice straight down. If it doesn't go all the way through, just reposition and start at the top and slice again. What you don't want to do is use a sawing motion. You do not want to saw. You want, to, you want to try to get a slice and a clean cut all the way through, preferably on the first try if at all possible. This guy took a couple. And you can see here I got the mouth on both pieces, so straight through the center of the mouth. Then after they are cut, you're going to place them back into your bucket with your aquarium water that you took them out with. And this next step is kind of optional, I guess, but... We're going to take our iodine-based 
dipping solution. And I'm using just sea chem reef dip here. It's an iodine based solution. And I'll do a couple droppers here into the water. And you're gonna wanna stir that up and mix it up. And what this dip is doing is it's just kind of cleaning and disinfecting the cut areas on the anemone to keep bacteria from getting in there and causing some type of an infection. You can do this without the iodine, but I take that extra step just, just so I'm doing everything I can to make sure that we're successful. And I will leave them in here for about 10 minutes in the bucket and the dip. And then what you're gonna do is, this is, the hardest part's probably getting them off the rock to cut them. The second hardest part is getting them back into the aquarium. They have to reattach. So what I try to do is find like a little nook or a hole in a rock and I will place the anemone into that hole. And then once he's in there, I'll kind of press him down gently to seat him so that he stays. And this aquarium I'm using, I designed, it's a very low flow aquarium for these anemones. So it's probably a good idea after you put the freshly cut anemones back in to turn off flow your power heads and return pumps for about half an hour to give them a chance to seat back onto the rock. They'll, they'll attach back onto the rock and if they're being blasted with flow it makes it a lot harder for them to do it and you don't want to lose an anemone. So after really a few days they'll start they'll close back up and within a week or two they'll, they'll be fully closed back up and if you have one of these guys you don't have to cut them if you're trying to propagate them they do split on their own once they reach a certain size and maturity and they split fairly readily so if you don't want to be cutting them you don't have to do that I just I, I do it for the farm so I appreciate you guys watching quick video on rose bubble tip anemones if you like these videos, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thank you. Bye.